What's up, y'all? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Kalia. In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all how I bleached and colored my locks at home by myself, solo dolo. And right now, I'm just showing everything that I used. So if you're interested in seeing how this process went, then please stay tuned. First things first, you want to make sure you protect your hands and wear some gloves. Now I am dumping this bleaching powder into my mixing bowl. I got all of this stuff from my local beauty supply, so you should be able to find it at yours as well. I initially put too much powder. I always forget like the ratio for this, but yeah. I'm using 30 developer. Most people use like 40, but I just like to play it safe. I didn't want to use a developer that was too strong. I feel like using one less strong gives you like more time to play around with, especially since you're doing this on your own head. Child, I don't know why I'm mixing this with the back of this brush. I don't know. But yeah. As you can see, it's too much powder. So I had to go back in and add more developer. Somehow I forgot to film the part where I added in the conditioner that you see in the background. I like to add in conditioner just to like calm down the strength of the bleach and also like it kind of just helps protect your hair i think i don't know i'm using this rose water to prep my hair for the bleach i don't want to put like the bleach on dry hair so i wanted to moisturize it a little bit now i'm just kind of massaging that rose water into my scalp rubbing it all through my locks I'm separating my locks into four sections just to make the application a little easier Honestly, the process of bleaching my hair is so stressful for me. Like every time I do it, I'm always just like, you know what? I'm prepared to cut all my hair off if this goes wrong. But <laughs> we got our four sections. So now I'm just going in and applying the bleach um, where my natural hair color is, but I'm not going all the way to the root. You don't want to apply the bleach to the root of your hair first like you want to wait and do that last because the roots will change color very quickly due to the heat coming from your scalp so yeah I'm just applying this to the natural color and yeah honestly like I was pretty stressed out like I don't know I just felt like I just felt like I wasn't doing it right. I don't know why I felt like that, but I was really just nervous. As you can see, it's already changing color. So I have added um, the bleach to the natural color all over my head. So now I'm going back around and adding it to my roots. I hope what I'm saying makes sense because I ramble a lot, but ciao. We had a time doing this bleach. Truthfully, I wouldn't recommend doing this at home by yourself. I'm not going to lie. But if you're like me and you just want to do what you want to do, then you know that's who I'm here to help. I'm here to guide y'all. I'm here to help y'all. I'll show y'all how I did mine. Every time I do this, though, like, <laughs> I be like, the next time, I'm going to get somebody else to do it. And guess what I end up doing? Doing it myself, like every time. Never fails. So now I'm rinsing this out. 
I like to start with like lukewarm water because I feel like if you go in with, you know, like warm to hot water, it's gonna make that bleach start doing things in your head that you don't want it to do. Like, it's gonna start making it activate a little too much. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just making sure I'm rinsing it very well. And now I'm going in with a moisturizing shampoo by Shea Moisture. I think it's called like Hydrate and Moisture, something like that. But I'm using this to just kind of restore the moisture in my locks after this bleach. I don't really experience a lot of dryness after bleaching my hair, but I think it's because I mixed that conditioner in with the bleach. So if you're gonna bleach your hair, try adding in some conditioner and yeah, you should be good. Just making sure I wash my hair real good. You don't want that bleach sitting in your hair. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yes, ma'am. It's crazy how much water locks hold. Like they like sponges for real. I was so nervous, y'all. Like, I didn't know what to expect. I was scared to take the towel off my head. <laughs> I had to say a little prayer. And yeah, here we go. And then I just start like looking in the mirror all over my head, examining to see if there were any missed spots. Definitely had some missed spots, like this part of my root like the bleach didn't take at all so i got more of the bleaching mixture spilled it on the floor <laughs> and then i just went back in on those spots that i missed now i'm mixing all three of these colors by a door to get the perfect shade my perfect ginger shade And then I just start applying it all over my head. I don't really have a technique for this. Just kind of make sure my locks and my roots are covered completely in the color. Am I the only one that make faces like this? Like when they doing stuff with their hair? I don't know why. I just be like balling my face up. And it's like now I be trying to be mindful of it. Like when I make videos because... I don't know, I'd be looking crazy. Got the color in. I let that sit for about 20 minutes. And then I rinsed it out. Did one, I didn't shampoo. I did not shampoo again. I just rinsed the color out really good. Now I'm going in to moisturize my hair. I diluted this leave-in conditioner. These are the combs I use for my retwists, and I love this gel by Talia YG. It's so perfect, and it smells really good. And then we start this long process of retwisting. Oh, I cannot stand retwisting my own hair. I thoroughly enjoy retwisting other people's hair, but baby. The acrobatics you gotta do to try to retwist the back of your head be crazy and it just be it just be too much there's a mirror hanging on my door behind me and then of course i'm looking in the mirror in front of me so that's how i'm able to like make sure my parts are as straight as possible I use the locksmithing method mainly because I don't have a crochet tool to kind of pull that freeziness into the locks. I need to get one, but for now, the locksmithing method will work. So I finished my hair. I just need to allow it to dry. I guess I'll use my hooded attachment to my blow dryer or whatever so that I can get ready to go to bed because I have work in the morning. But 
this is what we're looking like yeah new color fresh retwist so i did the color yesterday which was march 26th i couldn't get both done in one day so i did the color the next day march 27th i mean not the color i did the retwist the next day y'all know what i mean but yeah i'm so glad i got this done because not having my hair done i believe it was messing with my mental health like the past three four days i just wasn't feeling it i wasn't feeling nothing i wasn't feeling existing okay but oh be back in action stop playing i look good i kind of want to do my lashes tonight but i think i'm gonna wait because i want to do a video of that as well and i'm not recording nothing else tonight i'm about to eat find my work clothes and lay it down period but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you made it this far i really 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 appreciate it and i'm sorry that i haven't been consistent life just be lifing but i am really trying to learn how to lean on discipline and not my emotions i'm a very emotional sensitive person and i'm an introvert i like to isolate so when i'm going through stuff i don't like to show up too much but that's not gonna work for the goals that i want to reach so things gotta change anywho I really appreciate you guys for watching. Shout out to all 411 people subscribed to my channel. I don't know how many of y'all actually watch my videos, but shout out to anybody supporting me whatsoever. I don't care if you only watch one video and you ain't even subscribed, shout out to you. Okay, because yeah, this content stuff especially YouTube, like long form content takes a lot of work and I'm just very appreciative to anybody who gives a damn. Like, anyway, let me stop my rants. Stay tuned for the next video.